You've added an amazing new dark theme to your Flutter app. And because you love your users, there's even a toggle to enable and disable it. Everything's great until you realize each time you launch the app, it reverts to the light theme. That dark theme preference isn't being saved anywhere, so it doesn't persist. Right. You could save this to your server as a part of your user's accounts, but that feels like overkill for a simple Boolean flag. Or you could save it to persistent storage on the user's device, but this is Flutter, so your app ships to different devices with wildly different APIs for local storage. Enter the Shared Preferences package. Shared Preferences is a plugin that abstracts away the platform-specific persistent storage methods across Flutter's supported platforms. This means that you can use the same code to access persistent storage regardless of device. Shared preferences on Android, NS user defaults on iOS, local storage on web, the app data directory on Windows, you get the idea. Whatever the platform, shared preferences has you covered. It's great for saving simple data like, well, the user's theme preference. Once you've added shared preferences as a dependency to your app, create the shared preferences instance and start saving your data. Int, double, bool, string, and list of strings are all supported data types. Whenever you need the value back, look it up by its key. If the data doesn't exist, you'll get back null. And when it comes time to test your code, Shared Preferences contains its own mocks. This enables you to set initial values for testing without using any platform APIs that may be unavailable during unit tests. One thing to remember with Shared Preferences and persistent storage, there is no guarantee that the writes will be persisted to disk. So make sure you don't use it to store any critical app data. For more info on Shared Preferences and all the other packages, head to pub.dev.